If you have a camera that allows you to make internal proxies and you aren't using it, you are absolutely wasting your time. Today I'm going to show you my workflow using my Sony a7S III and how I save hours of editing using internal proxy recording. First things first, you're going to need a camera or an external monitor that even allows you to do internal proxy recording. Second, you're going to need to download the free software called Bulk Rename Utility and the link to that will be in the description below. Lastly, you'll need to know how to attach the proxies to the footage and your editing software. I'll be showing you Adobe and DaVinci today. Okay, now we're going to open the Bulk Rename name utility do not be alarmed when you see this it is not as scary as it looks we're clicking like four buttons i promise you so the reason we're doing this is because adobe premiere will only read a made proxy file if it is read as underscore proxy that is why we have to go through and change all these and that is why i'm showing you how to do this so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into where our footage is um, for me it's on my sd card and we're going to navigate to where the file is that holds all of your proxy footage. If you're using Sony, it's in the M4 root uh, subfolder. What we're going to do is we're going to select all of our clips. We're going to go over to remove right here, and we're going to remove the last three, in my case, three. And you're going to see right over here in real time that it got rid of the S03. So this is the name. This is the new name. Now that we got rid of that, we're going to add underscore proxy to the end of this. And all you're going to do is go over to add, go down to suffix, and you're going to type in underscore P-R-O-X-Y. Then you're going to hit rename. Hit OK. And that's it. That's literally it. So now that we're on our premier timeline, um, if I start scrubbing through this footage, you're going to notice it is obviously very slow. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here where we have all our files. We're going to select all of them. We're going to right click proxy attach proxies. We're gonna go down here to where it says attach. You're gonna navigate over to your proxy folder. And as you can see where it says underscore proxy from where we changed it a while ago, you're gonna find the file that you're looking to attach. Hit okay. Once you find one in the folder, it's gonna select all of them. So you just need to find that first one that you're looking for. Quick editing note, if you don't know how to toggle your proxies on and off, I'll show you that real quick. You go up to your program window and you're gonna see this icon here. All you have to do is click on that to toggle it and you could toggle it on and off as you're editing, no problem. Now when we go through our timeline, you could see incredibly fast. I mean, this is so easy to do. I'm on a laptop, as you can see, and I am just able to fly through this footage. Okay, that was how to do it in Premiere. Now I'm gonna show you the exact same thing in DaVinci because it is a little bit different. So that we're in DaVinci, you'll see the exact same situation. You know, as we're scrolling through this footage, it is super laggy. First thing you wanna do is double check that your proxies are on. So you're gonna navigate over to the cut page, you're gonna click up here where it says proxy handling and then make sure that prefer proxies is on. You're gonna select all of your clips, right click, relink proxy media. It's a little bit different here because what you're gonna do is you're gonna navigate to the folder that your proxy media is in. But instead of like Premiere where you go in and select the clip, here you're just gonna select the folder and DaVinci is gonna figure it out itself. So what we're gonna do is select our subfolder where the proxy media lies and just select that folder. Now it's gonna find the matching media. And as you can see by this little icon right here, the proxy media is on. So just like a while ago, we start scrubbing through. And our footage is just flying and frying, baby. And that's it. Now your editing process just got a lot faster and a lot easier. And I promise you when I say Premiere will crash a whole lot less. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a good one.